Hi, my name is Dr. Stephen Richards. I'm a physician in Urology Care Alliance, the Jamesburg Division. I'll be talking today about BPH or benign prostatic hyperplasia. BPH is one of the most common conditions in men in the aging process. What it entails is that the prostate, which is a gland that sits below the bladder and the urethra, the urine tube, goes right through it, enlarges and pinches off the urethra. What this can lead to are many of the common symptoms that men encounter from weak stream, waking up at night, hesitancy, intermittency where the urine stream starts and stops, as well as post void dribbling. BPH is diagnosed based on the history from the patient as well as the physical exam. Doing a DRE or a prostate exam can determine the size of the prostate and determine some of the treatment options. One of the non-invasive ways of diagnosing BPH is doing a Euroflow test. What that entails is a man urinating into a machine to measure the speed and the pattern of how the urine stream comes out, and then doing a bladder scan, which is to determine what residual is left over in the bladder. Once the diagnosis of BPH is made, there are multiple treatment options, but the first line is usually medication therapy. There are two types of medication. The first one is something called an alpha blocker, which helps relax the muscles in the prostate. One of the most commonly known medications is a drug called Flomax. In addition to the alpha blocker, there's a, another type of medication called a 5-alpha reductase inhibitor. What this medication does is actually shrink the prostate, but is usually for men with larger prostates over 30 to 35 grams. A normal prostate size is about 20 grams. What a medication like finasteride or Avidar do is they help shrink the prostate, but do take time to notice effect. The alpha blockers are much more rapid in their efficacy. Should a patient fail medical therapy or opt to not take medication, there are minimally invasive procedures in the operating room. The TURP has been the gold standard for over 50 years. Nowadays, we're using laser therapy to vaporize the blocking prostate tissue instead of the TURP. The benefits of laser therapy, and the most commonly used laser now is the green light laser, is reduced bleeding, reduced hospital stay, and reduced catheter time. In conclusion, while medication and surgical intervention are safe and effective options for patients who choose more conservative management or have milder symptoms, lifestyle modification can help. Watching what you drink after dinner, avoiding caffeine and alcohol to excess, and trying to avoid every two to three hours to keep your bladder empty may be enough to improve your quality of life. If you have any questions, whether you have BPH and the treatment options, please talk to your urologist or your primary care doctor. Thank you.